Learning your ABCs with all your buddies. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we. Hi kids, it's great to see you on this gorgeous day. Do you like my green shirt? I think that Pastor Greg knows that our letter for today is G. This is an uppercase G, and this is a lowercase G. A G can make the hard G sound like G, such as in grapes or games. Great Scott! It also starts words like gift or garden. Um, it can also make a soft G sound like J, such as in giraffe or gentle. Aww. Another G word is grandparents or grandkids. Uh, great googly moogly, are those gourds? Uh, yes, they are, but why are you so excited about gourds? Well, gourds not only start with the letter G, but they remind me of our Bible character for today, Gideon, and possibly the origins of the jack-o'-lantern. Hmm. I'm not following you. Well, pumpkins are a type of gourd, and a jack-o'-lantern is a gourd with a light hidden in it. Well, kind of like lights hidden in pumpkins, Gideon used lights hidden in clay pots, not to decorate his porch, but to win a great victory. How did he do that? He followed God's guidance. It started when God appeared to Gideon and told Gideon to attack the Israelites' enemies. Gideon was f scared, so God gave him a sign to prove that he would be with him. What kind of sign did God give to Gideon? Gideon put some wool on the ground, and he prayed that God would make the wool wet and the ground dry in the morning. And it happened. The next day, Gideon prayed for the exact opposite, that God would make the wool dry and the ground wet. And he got what he asked for. Oh, okay. but. What about the clay pots with the lights in them? Gideon told his men to bring along clay pots with torches in them along with trumpets. They snuck up on the enemy camp, and while the soldiers were sleeping, they smashed their clay jars and blew their trumpets really loud. And the enemy soldiers were so scared that they galloped away. God's people were grateful that he had rescued them. Pastor Greg, can you explain to the kids what the word grateful means? Grateful means being thankful. The Israelites were grateful that God had rescued them from their enemies. We can be grateful that God rescues us too. That's right. We're saved by God's grace. Here's to hoping that you join us next week to see what our letter is then. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we.